Hey babes, it's your girl Kayla KK here and we are back with another video. Today we are going to be trying out this e.l.f. Um, CC cream as well as the putty blushes and the um, hydrating camo concealer. Alright my beautiful K babes, my face is washed. Um, I have not primed yet, but I'm going to be priming with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I'm loving this. It is a very inexpensive alternative to my um, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, it gives you the hydration as well as that stickiness that the Hydro Grip Primer gives. As you can see, it is sticky. So we'll let this dry down a bit. And I'm going to try to stay majority drugstore items with this look. There will be a few things that are not drugstore thrown in because I don't have a drugstore product for that. So. Yeah, we're good here. And so we're going to go in with the Camo CC Cream. It says color correcting, full coverage, natural finish, plus collagen peptide and niacinamides and SPF 30, which I love. And I'm in color 425 in. And I always shake up all of my face products. And one little squirt on the back of my hand. And I just take this concealer blush and just apply it to my skin. So, like I said, it's one pump, and it may look like it is a little too yellow for me, but it is a good match. Once well, blended. So, now this product, I am really, really liking it. It's Pretty much evens me out. Um, I don't layer it up to be full coverage. So like you can still see some of my hyperpigmentation. But with like products like these, even though this is a thicker one, but products like CC creams and tinted moisturizers, I'm going for uh my skin but a little better thing but i really like this yeah. as you can see it's not matte it has a slight shine to it now i don't know if it's this product or the um jelly pop primer because with the jelly pop primer you guys could see that I was very very glowy but I am liking this so I think we are blended pretty well so yeah that is it so next thing I go in and get these under eyes. So I was using a hydrating camo concealer in medium warm. Um, it is very close in color to the concealer that I use in Shake Tape. Now, one thing I did notice, I have to scrape some of this off because this tofu is huge. 
and it gives you a lot of product. And so like, I don't need no more than that. And that's probably too much. And I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit. Um, When I first used this, I did not like it because I initially tried it right on top of the, um, on top of my primer. Cause sometimes I like to conceal and then put my foundation on. But I did not like it that way at all. And I'm getting used to it on top. It is not my favorite. Um, but for the price, it's okay. I think my, right now, my favorite um, drugstore highlighter is my L'Oreal one, the one that, um, the hydrated one. You know how they came out with the, the matte, what, what is it called? I can't even think of it. I'll put it right here. But the L'Oreal one, it is in that teal and black, and it is hydrated, and I, love it to death. I love that L'Oreal um, hydrating foundation and the matte one too. But that is the concealer. Now, I do know this concealer, even though it says hydrating, I got to set it. And the only thing that has been working for me to set it is the Laura Mercier Translucent Honey. So, I know this ain't good, so, but I tried my, um, my Black Radiance did not work with this. It just, like, peeled up in, like, little balls. My, um, L'Oreal didn't work. Same thing happened. It just, it just started peeling, and... Little balls was coming up on my face. I don't know. But it works well with this Laura Mercier. Plays very well with this one. So, and I have my under eyes set, and I just set like this, right under them. The next thing I am going to do is a little cream contour, not very much. I don't have a cream contour, I don't have a contour color in this, so I'm going to use, it's the infallible. The L'Oreal Infallible, that line, that's what it is. They have the hydrated and the matte one. That's the pencil I like. Drugstore, but I'm going to use this stick here. And I don't do much. Just try to get rid of some of this five head. And this is like my favorite um, contour bronze or whatever you want to call it stick. I have this is in 411 Chestnut. 
and it is a beautiful deep melanated color and I also have it in espresso which I think is 412 which is a little deeper which I will use to um if I want to do like a clean contour but I'm going for more of a bronzy look so hence we are using this one which I love. So, as of late, I have been using the ballet. I love this. I never thought I would be a cream blush girl because you hear so many things about it pulling, you know, your makeup. But I love this. It is like a beautiful terracotta, deep terracotta color. But today, since I am rocking such a bright and colorful top, I am going to give Caribbean a try. It is a beautiful red color. Shit. Let me slide it over. Let me adjust this light. Give me one second. So, doesn't have any smell, but I just take that same brush that I did that cream contour with. Swirl, swirl, swirl. And just. And I've been doing my blushes kind of high lately just to pull my face back. So I see if you can see this side versus this side, this side looks like it's lifted and pulled back and it looks slimmer than this side. And I just pat it on there, very subtle color, but you can see the difference. So swirl, swirl, swirl. Can't forget to blush that nose. Give it that sun-kissed look. I think that color is beautiful. And then what I tend to do is take that same sponge, and this is an e.l.f. sponge, by the way, and just go over it. Okay, so that is done. And for a tad bit of highlight, I'm going to go into this Fenty Beauty Sand Castle and Minted Mojito. Just hit this sand castle ever so lightly. And then just get there. That just gives me a little more glow. But not, not bam in your face. Now, I do like bam in your face sometimes, but not today. Mm. 
And my brows are pretty okay. I'm just trying to spool it in. Not going to do anything to them, actually. Just put a little medium brown tint. But not trying to do anything with any precision to them because want them to look just natural. All right, that is the brows, and that was um Ulta's brand, so very inexpensive. So on to my eyes. I have three of these little. Um, bite shadows from elf i have this one in hot jalapeno this one is very bad and this one is in carnival candy i love this rocking these two shades out of carnival candy together and i'm probably gonna be using various shades out of all three of them to set that um, cream bronze. I'm going with the Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie. I'm going to take a little bit of it down the nose. So, yeah, next thing I am going to do is some mascara. I don't have any e.l.f. mascara, but I have this L'Oreal. No lashes because it is, like I say, this is just supposed to be a quick, everyday situation. So my lips are being twisted. It's just a lip balm. And I got some e.l.f. lip glosses. But they're just new lip glosses. And I want a little to add a little punch to this. So I'm going in with um, the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle Matte Lipstick in Tiger Teeny. Which is the orange shade. I know, it looks crazy right now. You like, girl, you got orange on your lips and green and blue on your eyes. But I'm going to top it with the cream blush and the cream gloss bomb and cookie jar. And that is the look. So, let me give you my final thoughts. So, my final thoughts. This, I can do without. It's okay. It is what it is. You know. A 
um, this. Love it, love it, love it. Love the way my skin looks. Um, as you can see from here, here it looks all even, all one thump. Yeah, so loving that. Them cream blushes, baby. Not cream, but putty blushes. Love them, love them, love them, love them. Um, I think the putty blushes are my favorite out of the three, and then the CC cream. This here, I probably won't wear this anymore. Because <laughs> I've been wearing it for a few days, so I probably won't wear this anymore. I just, I just don't like the way it looks. And this color is a little light for my highlight shade. It looked darker online when I ordered it. But I just, even if it was the right shade, I don't think that it would be right for me. You know, I just I just don't think the texture and the finish and the way it does that it is right for me. Every time I film, somebody got the damn text or call or something. But this is the finished look. Mm. I might go a little more. <laughs> the girl light spark. Okay, I like that a little better. A little extra sparkle, sparkle, dazzle, dazzle, you know. Add it to it. But, so, as you can see, I have like these oranges and greens and teals in my top. So, that is why the makeup look was like this. So, um, you can leave like this. You can add lashes. Let me see if my... Yes, they are dry. But um, let me get my hair together and I'll be right back. All right, babe. So here is the finished look. I decided to put a little eyeliner on and it is from um, Revolution. You know, drugstore brand right at Ulta. And I put on some lashes. These are from Dollar Tree, honey. And these are um, Ayana. And I got these back at um, Halloween time. That's why you see little sugar crystals. These are um, Isabella. They are natural doll volume 3D foaming lashes. So, yeah, this is the final look. Um, I decided to do the lashes and things because we're about to go out for dinner um, for my sister-in-law's birthday. So, yeah. So, if you guys like this video and would like to see more videos on my impressions of um, different makeup products, be sure to thumbs up this video. Also, 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 make sure you subscribe to the channel and join the KT Studio. Bam, bam, we would love to have you here. This lashes, I don't know what it's doing, it's just like, but it, we gonna watch it. Hello. All right, that call was about our reservations at the Chop House. Hey, babe, so it is the end of the day. It is almost 11 p.m. So my face has been done for about 10 hours. And my eyes don't look that great I took the lashes off um in the car on the way home but still a little blush on 
the cheeks. I am starting to oil through. We've been to dinner. We went to talk golf and play. But yeah, this is what the faces look like. I'm just going to take this and see if I just pat, pat, pat. There's not, nothing on it just to see if it knocks the sheen down. And it actually does some. So, you know, this is the look with the e.l.f. CC cream. I am loving it, wishing my e.l.f. eyeshadow, but I have been rubbing my eyes. My eyes were irritated today for some reason. I'm thinking it was my allergies and stuff. That's why I took the lashes off because they were watering up something serious. So I am really, really, really liking this e.l.f. CC cream. Really, really loving the e.l.f. putty blushes. And just feeling like, eh, about the e.l.f. Um, concealer. So, I don't know if that's going in the trash or not. But I am going to give the concealer one more try. I'm going to try it with um, one of my ride or dies. Either my Fenty Foundation or um, my Estee Lauder Double Wear or my Lancome. Um, foundation and see how it wears with those but yeah you know so you see it's doing it today but it's been on my face 10 hours but it's, it likes to get like it gets pilly or something but I don't know I might just just chuck it it was only six bucks but yeah this is the end of the video so if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up um if you're not a part of the kt studio fam bam please click that subscribe button as well as click the notification bell to turn on those notifications so that you know each and every time that i upload up and through here and as always my beautiful k babes peace <laughs>